I think I need to quit now and play it again. I'm gonna get it for you guys, I swear. I swear the feed is coming. This game is gonna be a little tricky for a second. Come on, there we go. This is what I want. Alright, so now we need to take this and go properties and say FTL and say OK. And go back to FTL. There you go. Now you can see the glory that is. Keep screen setting. Yes, the glory that is FTL. Oh man. Hey, Bazooka, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna make sure that this shows up on the stream real quick. There it is. Okay, great. Alright, new game. Oh no, this doesn't have any of my... What? Why doesn't this have my... my save on it? Oh, well I guess we're starting over from scratch. This does not have my Steam save on it, so we are just starting over. Well, let's just try normal run then. Well, fuck it. Oh, this is awful. I had a whole bunch of ships unlocked. Jack, will you describe every mechanic in this game in great detail for any newcomer to this game? Pi 460, I'm pretty sure that's sarcasm, but I will try anyway. First thing we should do, though, is we can rename our crew members. So... Mario Mario is the first subscriber that I see. Dick the birthday boy, of course. Kusi, D the B-Day boy, I see, I see you, and, oh, Kieran, of course, Kieran, who had me watch two best friends play, K-Y-R-E-N-N-N, -N. K-Y-R-E-N-N, -N. there we go. Name them all Jim. <laughs> I will, next time when I get more crew members, I will just name them after subscribers. Uh, and, and that's how it's gonna work. So these are literally just the first pizza rolls that I saw. We're going to, uh, advanced edition content is enabled. We're gonna try a normal run. And I only get one ship because apparently this doesn't have any of my saves. So the way this works is really easy. The data you carry is vital for, to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey, so make sure to explore each section before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip choices. Results of most choices have multiple outcomes. So you can never be sure what will happen. So basically, as you see here, we have a captain, we have someone in the weapons room, we have someone in the engineering room. We fly around space, collect resources, and fight battles. It is the best. And we have all these little systems, and you press, you know, all these little system management malarkey shenanigans and anisms. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Can we jump already? Why can't we jump? Oh, because it's paused. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> okay, let's jump. So, here's a distress signal. We can fly to all these beacons. And these are all points that we can fly to, and eventually you'll see the rebel fleet is following us. And we need to make our way to the exit, but we need to hit as many of these dots as we can before we go to the exit. So let's start here. My plan is to kind of do this and work our way down. So I'll go here first, and we'll see if we get anything awesome. Oh man, if I could do the audiobook for Wool, that would make my day. Wool is a great, great book. You detect a rebel scout on the attack. Uh, on the attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. 
So now we get to choose. Do we intervene and defend the outpost or avoid the conflict? We motherfucking intervene. So the great thing about this game is uh, you can pause it at any time and freeze time and really think about your decisions. Um, I can see that they have a couple weapons right here and right here. Um, I can see their rooms. So they have a weapon room, engine room, shield room, oxygen room. This is a cloning bay and this is their piloting room. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take my Artemis laser here and, uh, or my Artemis missile and fire it at their shields and try to take down their shields. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh, they just fired on us. You ain't got nothing. Shields are down, so now I can take my burst laser, fire it at their weapons. Boom, and guess what? Now they can't do shit. So now I'm not even gonna worry about my Artemis anymore because you have up here, you see, you have a limited number of missiles. Boom. This is going to be a nice, easy victory. They got no shields, they got no weapons. So now we just need to make sure that they can't run away, so I'm going to take out their engines. Boom, and we win. Everything's great. So every time you win, you get certain things. Uh, this is fuel. We got two fuel, we got two uh, droid parts, and we got 14 scrap. And scrap is like the money of this universe. And because we saved the outpost, outpost, we get more fuel and more scrap. Hooray for everything. Uh, also, later on, you can move your guys to different rooms, and we'll get there. But for now, we're going to keep them all. Oh, I think D the, D the B-Day Boy's name isn't showing up because there isn't enough space. Sorry, D the B-Day Boy. So let's jump to our next thing. Let's, let's hit this distress signal and see what's going on over there. All right, you arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with a pirate marking potentially cra crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. One, try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. Two, destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates, so, you know, we get some moral choices. Um... And I'm gonna go hardcore here and destroy and loot the ship. Fuck pirates. All right, here it is. See this red line right here? This is the rebel fleet. And if we ever are on this side of this red line, it's a pain in the ass fight. And so we don't ever wanna be that. Here's another distress signal, let's go there. You have encountered a refugee ship, ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Let's hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. They will give me four fuel if I give them three missiles. I... I want to do this because fuel later on in the game, fuel is very important to have. So I can deal with lack of missiles for now. What can I do here? So I think my plan is going to be to go here, 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 here to the exit. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt fate here. I'm gonna try to stick to. Oh, actually, I just realized something I should do. I should update the. Uh, the broadcast. Um, fetal. Fetal. Feet. All. Excel. And FTL. Master Man Light. Update. Great. Just in case anyone is paying attention to the stream, now it is updated. Okay, you come across a space station under construction. You receive a message from the their command tower. Greetings, we recently lost contact with a cargo ship that was set to deliver more construction materials. Could you help us figure out what happened to them? Sure, I'll offer some help. I've added a marker to their last known coordinates. So I get some fuel and I get some 
missiles just for saying I'll help. I don't actually have to help. But, yeah, I could probably do that. All right, let's get the F out of here before that red line gets any closer. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay. Shit is getting real. So I need to wait for my weapons to charge up here. There's the Artemis, there's the first laser. So we're gonna take out their shield. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is take out their engine because I don't want them to run away. There we go. So now I'm gonna cool it with the missiles because their shield and their engine is down. Now I'm gonna concentrate on their weapons. Oh, they ain't got nothing. You know what they ain't got? Nothing. Come on, don't repair, don't repair, don't repair, don't repair. Boom! Easy peas! Why is Jack so dashing? I, I don't know. Let's get the FTL out of here. <laughs> That's it. Okay, their ship breaks apart, and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Ooh, we get some fuel, we get a missile, we get some scrap, and we get... Reconstructive Teleport. Let's find out what that is. What's our augment here? Ooh, that is an amazing augment. Uh, anytime we teleport the crew, they get fully healed. I will. I love that. So now we have some scrap. Stress quest. Uh, one of these spots will be a store that we can use our scrap to buy some shit. Um, or else we can upgrade here, which I might want to do. Upgrade the shield system or... At very least give me another power bar here so I can upgrade our... our engine here. Alright. Let's... Let's play a little dangerous here. Let's go here. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Well, good thing we bought that extra engine thing. Hell's bells. Alright, let's, let's Artemis their shields. Oh, but that won't do nothing because they have their special newfangled. When they have that green shield, it's like a bonus shield. Oh, fuck. So we have a fire here. I paused it, which is the great thing. We have a fire, which is obviously no good. I could send a guy in to get it. Is there a way... send in my guy to get it. Okay, you go take care of that fire. So I, I, I regular click on him and left click on the area I want him to go. Alright, Artemis the shields and burst laser the weapons. There we go. Easy peas. This isn't working. So here's our other tactic for putting out fires is you can actually open up the doors to space and take all the oxygen out of that room. And that'll do a really good job of putting out the fires. All right, don't want to waste missiles. I have a limited number of missiles. So we have our burst system here. What should we do? Shields. Good, got him. Fucking got him. All right, close all doors. Get the oxygen flowing back in here and we're doing it. They have a Zoltan, a Zolron shield. Jack is gonna do what Jack is gonna do, it's true. I know I can turn off the medday power. I suppose I should have waited. You're, I mean, you're probably right. This is why I, I don't do that well all the time, but. I say, fuck it, we, get, we gotta get in there. That's the real thing. 
gotta get in there. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. D the B day B. B day. Okay, well, you know what? There's B day. As I need a name here because I, I didn't have a name and that really bothered me. All right. Distress. Someone might need help. We're here to help you guys. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advances. Let's while well, let's hail them. A slug ship jumps into the system. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport, and now they found you instead. Well, fug. What do they have? They have an ion cannon and a laser, so they might be able to fuck up our shit. Let's see if we can just burst laser them. If we burst laser their weapons, we might be able to... Yeah, there we go. You ain't got nothing, slugs. I don't want to waste missiles. Missiles are a valuable resource. There we go. Shields down. Weapons are down. So now we can really fuck with them because they're not going to hit us. And uh, oh, it looks like they have a fire going too. So I'm going to fuck with their oxygen. <laughs> and let's just see if we can kill them. Here, hold on. I think if I go in here, I can see inside their ship. Yeah. So now they don't have any oxygen, and they are slowly dying, and they don't have a med bay either. So yeah, I know, get your shields up, do it. Let's just see if we can fuck with them for a little bit, and like, deplete them of oxygen. <laughs> this is a elite strategy. Because if, um, oh, I guess that's the other thing, is if you can kill the crew without destroying their ship, you get a greater scrap reward. And because I have their oxygen turned off, I actually might be able to kill them. Unless he goes in there. They have both of their weapons up now. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, and I missed. They might actually get me. There we go. All right, well, fuck it. The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their home world. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can. Great, so we got some shit. Let's fix our ship. That was kind of a dumb move. I should have just killed them right away, but sometimes it's fun to do the metagame. What? What's a good question? The Christmas Vacation 2 episode? What? Oh, I missed the question, guys. I'm very sorry. I did. I got greedy. I don't care. I don't care that I got greedy. I wanted that scrap, yo. Ooh, there's the store. So the question is, can I go here, 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 here? Yeah, I can totally do that. Let's see if we can get some more scrap and get to that store. Got to attack the automated ship. Oh, fucking hacking. Okay, just gotta get, gotta get that. Oh, fuck. There you go, get that out of here. All right, fix our oxygen. Number one most important. This purple thing here is a, is a new thing. It's a hacking, it kind of renders our pilot useless. I don't want to use missiles just yet, and I don't think I have to. There we go, take care of their hacking at least. And their weapons are down. This is an automated chip, so there's no one on board to fix it. So I can just kind of chip away here, which is very nice. It does fix itself automatically, but very slowly. Let's get our guy back here where he belongs. There we go. Easy peasy, y'all. Easy peasy. Your map has been updated with details of the surrounding area and we get some scrap. 
That's great. That is great. How's everyone doing on health? Good. Possible ship. Possible ship and a nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. I want to do that. So I want to go here to make the fleet slower. Then I can go to the store, go to the quest, and right to the exit. That is going to be my plan. Oh, and yes, this absolutely has a sweet soundtrack. I hope you all can hear it. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing its wares. Purchase an unknown weapon for 45 scrap. Ooh. Mmm. This is a good question here. Purchase. Don't do it, attack. Get the unknown weapon. See, listen to you guys. Do it, do it, do it, purchase, purchase. Okay, I see enough purchases. I'm gonna purchase it. Oh, Hermes missile. I don't care about the Hermes missile. Well, let's see. I can always sell it at the store. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, the flak cannon. Love the flak cannon. And a crew member. Alright, what can I sell that shit for? I can sell that for 22, sell you for 19. I think I want to do that. I want to sell... Or I mean, sell my Artemis. Buy the flak cannon. Absolutely. Flat cannon is a great weapon. And, oh, I wish I had enough for, an, uh, for a guy, but I don't. And I have plenty of fuel. And I want that teleporter for later, so I'm going to hold on to my reconstructive teleporter, even though I could get rid of it now and get a guy, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Close. All right. So now what do I need? Flat cannon needs two, so I need one more Majigger in my weapons. Can I get you? No. I should have paid more attention to that. I still have the store right here. Do I need... Now that's the question, is do I need to sell... Or can I, can I beat someone with just a laser? This is the question. Can I beat someone with just a laser? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go to that quest. We're gonna we're gonna try to do something really stupid. You find the missing cargo ship floating near the beacon. Thank heavens we've been drifting here after using the last of our fuel to escape a pirate raid. They want four fuel. I have 23, I have a lot of fuel. Let's give it to them, sure. Excellent. So now that will give me enough to buy another weapon slot. Which means, if I take away the health bay, I have both the flak cannon and the burst laser to incredibly powerful weapon set. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, why is the teleporter overpowered? It's not overpowered. Uh, teleporter is great because you can send your guys to the other ship and kill the other crew so you can get a greater scrap reward. I don't think it's overpowered. Um, I think it's really balanced because there's a, a great risk in sending your guys to the other ship. Well, that was a worthless jump. All right, here we go. All right, long range uh, hidden from anywhere. All right, well, shit. All right, nothing, nothing. NG controlled or uncharted nebula? Well, let's go NG control. I really dislike the nebulas. They mess with, with all your shit. All right, let's do this. Can't do nothing from there. We can go places if we go here. So let's go here. All right, here we go. We're doing it. We're getting in there. 
The NG are awaiting you at the beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the NG, multiple counts of binary scrambling nano blah, 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 is aboard your vessel. They insist they must destroy your ship to pre prevent the virus from escaping. Um, hold on, let's, let's try to purge the system code. Uh-oh. Well, shit. Now I'm out of shields. And the NGR attacking. Well, fuck, fuck. Okay. Flak is online. First laser in online. So Flak... What are we going to Flak? Flak their shields. And as soon as their shields are down, we Flak their weapons. Or we laser their weapons. There we go. Okay, that's something. That's something. Fucking hell. Doesn't matter that our shields are hit, they're down. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, fuck you. Get on there. This is a dumb battle. Don't have shields. Come on, get on, get on, get online. Okay, flak. Flak the shields. Good. And laser. Excellent, excellent. This pausing is really important in this game. And for actually for the longest time, I did not know you could pause. Uh, but pausing is really great for timing. So, you know, we flak their shields. And as the second their shields come down, we hit their weapons. And that did nothing, because I didn't flak their shields good enough. Ah, fucking hell. Alright, Flax online, and... Alright, Flax the shields. There we go. One more hit. One more hit and they're down. We got this. We got this. Flax is online. First laser, go! Yes! We got it. We fucking got it. We got it. With the ship destroyed, you detect that the virus has abandoned your ship and disappeared somewhere within the system of the wreckage. It will likely infect whatever energy ship patches, passes next, but your mission is too vital to risk reinfecting by stopping it. That's true. Alright, we got some scrap. Let's get our motherfucking shields back online here. Fix our shields. I need in, we need some more crew members. This is the real thing. We need some crew members in here to fix our shit. There we go. Get back in your weapons bay now. Uh, all of your people, by the way, the more the longer they're in their rooms, the more experience they gain. And so Kieran is our weapons guy. As you see, they're they're gaining experience and so it's it's vital to keep them in their rooms the longest amount of time oh we got some stores but we don't have much scrap so we don't want to go to the stores yet let's see if we can hit some of these outlaying ones before we hit a store repair your shields yo i did yo you pick up a distress call from a civilian ship we're being chased by a mantis gotta aid the civilian here we go. Here we go. I got this. Mantis. Mantis ain't nothing. I got this. Flak burst. Oh, you ain't got nothing. So flak. We're gonna do the same thing. Flak the shields. Laser their weapons. Boom. And they've officially got nothing. Flak is one of the greatest weapons ever. Boom. Boom. Seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can. Great. I love those missions, because that means double scrap bonus, y'all. Angel. <laughs> what did he done do? Uh, Paragon makes a good point. Like, they only... The people in their rooms only gain experience when they do something. And so, for example, your weapons person will only gain experience 
when they fire a weapon and hit someone. Your engines person will only gain experience if you can dodge an attack. Same with your piloting person. So it was an oversimplification of me to say the longer they're in the room. Like, you can't just leave them in the room and have them do nothing. They have to do something in their room to gain experience. But the overall lesson of keeping them in the same room at their computer desk for long periods of time. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit this unvisited... Oh, I can do even that. Can I do that? Well, I'm going to hit this unvisited location first. I want to hit these stores as late as I possibly can to get this scrap number up as high as I can. You are immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers! Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Some of our friends have taken to piracy in the recent chaos of the war. We'd like you to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. We'll pay you as long as you don't kill them all. <sighs> sure. <laughs> Just be sure not to blow them up. Alright, well sure, what the fuck, we'll see if we can do this. They have a flat cannon and a laser as well. But I think we have a better laser than they have. Repair those weapons, yo. Oh, that's devastating too. Maybe I need to rethink my... Maybe I need to rethink my my strategy and hit him with the laser first and the flak cannon second. That seemed to work really well. Let's, let's give that a try. Okay, burst laser first. And we'll hit their oxygen. That'll fuck them up. Boom. Yeah, that seemed to do pretty well. They hit, they... Hail your ship saying, you win! We're not cut out for this. Yeah, let's let them win. Pirates dissuaded from their career path. You return to the settlement. Thank you. Ooh, a 27 scrap and a hull beam. Nice. Nice. That's pretty great. That's a pretty great hull right there. All right, I'm going to hit up this door now before I regret it. Scrap ours, our weapons for you. What? Oh, okay. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, double flak cannon. Double flak cannon? Could you imagine the hell we would raise if we had a double flak cannon? And an ion blast. Sell the hull beam for 35. Get two flak hands. Mmm. We could really. You never go double flak hand? What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm definitely gonna get a Zoltan crew. By the way, you should know that. Zoltan crew, uh, see these green guys? They give you uh, a free. Uh, a free green point for having them in a room. So I'm definitely gonna get a Zoltan crew. Let's see here. Cremity or Scott? Neither of them have any skills, so I'm gonna get Scott. Definitely. So that's out of the way. Definitely getting a Zoltan crew. Sell the hull beam and buy a crew member. Go full retard, Jack, a dual flat cannon. <laughs> it's like an ion blast would be really nice too. Yeah, I definitely don't need the hull beam. I definitely agree with that. Alright, let's fix some. I want to save some of these jams. I, I want to see if I can get a, another shield boost. 
but at least get us back into the green. There we go. Right, let's see what we can do to the ship here. What do we need for shield? 20, 30, so we need 50. And two bars. I definitely don't have enough for that. I could just up our evade. I could up some of this jam. do that. Just up our um, up our auto evade, up our doors. Alright. You get into shields. That's what you're gonna do. And Octo-J. Octo-J, you are the first subscriber. Who I saw. Octo-J. Done. Octo-J is our new shields coordinator. I'm really happy to have him. No dual flak. It's the smart... I, I didn't need it. Like, I will destroy so many ships just having the laser and the flak that I didn't need it. That was right. Dual flak would have been overkill. Alright. No use in going to this door because I don't have any scrap. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Even though each individual NG is made up of trillions of nanomachines, their culture still revolves around traditional so social interactions. A nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment of passing NG travelers. Oh, that's it. There was no... Octo-J, yes, you are in charge of the shield. Do you have a, a heavy... You have a burden of responsibility on you. Let's just heal up Kieran. There we go. Kieran gets over here now. Well, let's uh, save current crew positions. Okay. All right, let's go to this distress and see if we can help some motherfuckers out. Hey, motherfuckers. You arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with a pirate markings uh, partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining. Guess what? We're destroying your ass. <laughs> All right, well, you guys are fucked. So now we're going to try our new... Uh, we're going to try their strategy of burst lasers first and then flacking. So let's burst laser and then flack and see if that yields... Eh. I wasn't thrilled with that. I'll be honest with you. I was not thrilled with that. We've still got weapons. That did a number on our ship, though, I'll tell you what. Nope, you're gonna die. Well, that fucked up our hull something mighty. Well, oh, for anyone who doesn't know, once all these colored bars go down, you're fucked. The game's over. I'm going to take my Zoltan here and have uh, my Zoltan repair everything because you get, much like leveling up everything else, you can level up your repair efficiency, your repair speed. And so I like to just choose one person and that, that will be our super repairer. And I would like that person to be in shields. So let's get our med bay on here. This is the kind of thing, resource management. Took one away from our engines to power our med bay so I can heal our Zoltan friend. After he repairs our doors. Alright, heal up. Everyone else seems to be doing good. Octo J, Master of Shields. April, I love you, says, Where does my 499 go? If I subscribe, it goes right here. It goes to the stream. Uh, it goes to previously recorded, you know, uh, we will take that money, we'll spend it on games, we'll spend it on production, we will...
spend it on making previously recorded better. So that's that's where the money goes from Twitch. It goes right back into the video game show. So if you enjoy it, think about it. And of course, then you get a pizza roll and all of the cool emoticons. Then you get to be a cool kid. And isn't that what everyone wants? All right, go here, 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 here. We'll try that. Try to hit as many of these spots as possible. What? April, I love you. I can't believe I convinced you of that. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Rich and I started doing this video game show and we're really happy with all the support we've been getting even after the Sonic episode, so thank you. All right, you arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck! A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto your deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. This is actually... This is good. So, we either get a crew member and fight the NG ship, which we need, we need a crew member, or we agree to hand him over and possibly get some shit. What do we do? What do we do? I'll tell you what we do. Side with the fugitive. That's what we do, because we need some more crew members up in here, because eventually I'm going to get a teleporter. All right. You ain't got nothing. Flak on burst. Okay, so we are going to flak the shields. There they go. Laser the weapons. Yes! That's, that's a great strategy. They can't do nothing about that strategy. So now we're just gonna fuck with them a little bit. Flak the shields. And take the engines out. Boom. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, that's great. Got some fuel, got some scrap, and got a new member to the team. And Mantis are really good at fighting, which, you know, that's great. So we're gonna put the Mantis here. We got a new member. And as it so happens, April, I love you, is the first person I see. So, as a new subscriber, April. April I. April I is our new chief of security, so I'm gonna send this mantis out to beat up any bad guys that come and get us. Um, Hold the Pickles uh, has questions about subscription. I don't know exactly. Um, if you're just watching through your iPhone, there might be a subscribe button, there might not be. Um, it can be monthly or it can be just a one-time fee. Like if you just want to pay five bucks once, that's what you do, or it's a monthly renewal. That is your choice. Uh, but you'll probably have to go online. Twitch.com slash previously recorded underscore live, and you can subscribe there. Not necessary, but appreciated. There is a Twitch app. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice app for watching stuff. I do wish they would uh, upgrade the Twitch app a little more on the creator side. I, I, I'm hoping for a little more something. I, I, as, a, as a Twitch partner, there's very little I can do with the app, unfortunately. All right, let's go. Okay, let's get to our next destination here. Here we go, we're going. All right, you're greeted by a rare sight, a mantis ship that appears not to have noticed you. They only have one shield, so I'm gonna say, fuck it, let's attack them. And because our head of security is now in the, uh, the camera room, we can actually see all the people in there. This is gonna be very helpful later when I get a teleporter and we can teleport people over there. All right, so we're just gonna use the same strategy we've been using that's been working. Flack the shields, and as soon as the shields are down, laser the weapons. Boom. Ah, oh, that's great. Flack burst laser. 
We got crazy lucky getting this. And flak. They don't they don't even they don't even stand a chance, you guys. They don't even stand a chance. Oh my god, we didn't name the ship. Can we still rename the ship? We can't. It's just the Kestrel. I forgot to rename the ship, you guys. <laughs> I can't believe we did that. What are you saying? You guys talking about the Patreon? That's cool. That's the real thing with the Patreon. Uh, any anyone who does a Patreon, and you know, I know like Jay and Mike had thought about it for a while, but it's like the ability to speak directly to the fans and to have the fans directly support them without going through a system like YouTube or Blip and having to worry about ads is really, really awesome. I think now we can get our second tier of she. Oh my God, we have a fire! You guys. We have a fire. We need to be cool about fire safety here. So I just open the side doors, let the air in. Let the air out. Blown out. There we go. Fire dealt with. Now we have two shields for them to get through, which is great. I can probably hit this up and then get the exit, so I'm gonna do that. That's the really important thing about this game. Hit as many of the dots as you can before you exit. Oh, well, that was just kind of a waste then, wasn't it? Oh, now here's the tough one. Where it's like, can I hit this and then hit the exit before they get there? I think I can. I'm gonna to try to do that. I'm gonna to try to hit this and get the exit before they get there with their red line. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and is still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts off and offers to split the bounty with you if you sit tight. Hmm. I get 10 scrap. Ah, fuck it, let's attack the pirates. This is a bad call, I can tell you that right away. But, I say fuck it, we got the two shields? I'm, I'm feeling kind of overconfident right now with our flak burst laser. Eh, okay, that did all right. A couple of the flaks missed, but that's all right. That's all right. We still have our shields. I took down one of their weapons. Boom. More generous offer. That's a lot more fuel. A couple more scrap. I don't really have missiles right now. Hmm. That fuel could be nice, though. Six fuel. Mm-hmm. 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 Dick the birthday boy, you're right. Uh, I th uh, Mike talked about this before. New shirts are on the way. And I think... I, I haven't even seen them yet, but I do hear that new t-shirts, uh, new RLM t-shirts are on the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm not a poster kind of guy either, Octo J. Don't worry about the posters. Get glasses. I like glasses. I, I, I mean, I didn't pay for the glasses, but I, I really like bringing out my, my best of the worst pint glass at parties and people asking me what it is. Get the glasses. Those are more fun. Just have a sign a piece of paper. We can do that. I am going to reject their offer and continue the assault because I want to be a hero. I need a hero now. I'm holding up for a hero to the end of the night. Yes. Take that, pirate. Ooh, 31 scrap. 
Yes! Oh, yes. Jack made the right call. Look at this. Look at this. Because we helped someone, almost in the entirety of our hull up here has been repaired. And that is super nice. Mmm. Mmm. Fug yes. Fug yes. Will I sign? Will we sign? I mean, we will sign the glasses, but I don't think you want that. Like I said, you know, we'll we'll tell us to sign a, like a little piece of paper, and we'll sign a little piece of paper for you. All right, excellent. Let's get the heck out of here. Ooh, you come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes off to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Let's search among the store. Nope. Well, fine. I'm okay with the fight. Oh, they can't hurt me at all. They can't hurt me at all. I'm not even going to worry about it. They have two beam weapons which don't cut through shields. So I'm perfectly fine. I can just sit here and fire at them willy-nilly until they disappear. Which I'm gonna do. <laughs> you are right, Rory Tate. I do need to account better for the time it takes both the laser and the flak to get to the ship. Flak cannons are a newer weapon, so I'm still getting used to the timing, but you are correct. I need to get better at my timing. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Huh? Fucking za. Great. I feel really good about this. Okay, we're gonna jump to the next sector. And you know what? My overconfidence is gonna take us to the rock controlled sector. I think that's my plan is rock, nebula, civilian, 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 hostile. Let's go to rock. Let's go to rock. Night, folks. Trout 9K, thanks for coming out. All right, here's what we're gonna do, guys. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 11.40. We're gonna take a break. Geeks only, hi, welcome. You, you came just in time for us to take a little break. <laughs> I won't run a commercial because I've already run several commercials tonight, but I just need to refill uh, my water and uh, and then we will continue to play more. So listen to the sweet jams of FTL while I go uh, get some water. <laughs> <laughs> 